kind of gotten fed up with all these creationists saying things like this. You know, after a long time of encountering what evolutionists say, what they do is actually really anti-science. They're perverting everything that ever that has ever been founded in science by the Bible-believing creationists, Isaac Newton, Johannes Kepler, Albert Einstein, and so on. Um, although Albert Einstein, uh, he's a big mystery, but he kind of believed in God. But they're trying to say things like, gravity is a theory, not a law. They're trying to say, oh, time is, is an illusion. No, gravity is a law established. I mean, look at this. That's gravity. We never see goo to you evolution happening, ever. All we see are variations within the kinds. It's changes within species happen. But Darwin didn't write a book called How, How Species Change. He talked about the origin of species. And Darwinian evolution has been disproven over and over and over in the realm of real science. Real science? I've never once seen a creationist do real science. And I'm sure no other atheist has either, so uh, I don't even think it's possible. So much so that I've devised a contest, and all creationists are invited. I'm going to call this the first annual creationist science fair. I'll be giving out $100 in prizes out of my own pocket. I'm not relying on any donations from any company or organization. I'm getting no discount for these prizes. That means $100 cash is coming out of my pocket to be doing this. I'm going to attempt to give away two $50 Amazon gift cards to two creationists. There will be no limitations on what you can buy with the card. You can buy $50 worth of Bibles if you want. Don't worry, I won't need any personal information to send it to you other than an email address, and you won't need to give me that unless you win. So, you might ask why I'm doing this. Well, I'm doing it because it's worth it to me to see creationists learn what actual science is and how to do it. It's as simple as that. Uh, there will be two categories to win from. The first category is for creationists that submit videos documenting and describing their experiment and the research they have done to form their hypothesis. There must be video of your experiment. If the experiment takes more time than can be documented in real time on camera, I expect to be seeing visual documentation of the various stages of the experiment. In the video, you will need to explain how your experiment works. For instance, it's not good enough to take a jar of dirt and water and shake it up and say, hey, look, layers, that proves Noah's flood. Uh, you need to explain why the layers settle in the way that they do and how that is or isn't what we see in the strata on the earth. This may take more experiments, like measuring the density of the layers of dirt in the jar to see if it's possible that the dirt settles at the levels it does due to its density and compare that to the density of the dirt in layers on the earth's strata. This is the kind of thing that real scientists do and the kind of thing I'm trying to promote in the creationist community. Uh, the judging will be done by seeing how many votes each video gets in the comments of a video I will title, Let the Voting Begin. That will be posted at the end of the contest. Commenters will be asked to give ratings from 0 to 5 based on four criteria. Level of adherence to the scientific method. How well the experiment is designed to fit the hypothesis. How unique the hypothesis is and attention to detail, where the last simply means the level of cross-checking done in the process. Because of this, even experiments that fail to support the hypothesis can win as long as you follow the scientific method and created a valid experiment. You heard me right. Even if you can't demonstrate a creationist idea to be true, you could still win. For instance, the mud in a jar experiment is actually a valid experiment. And although it doesn't support Noah's flood, you would be eligible to win merely for finding out why it doesn't. Like I said, I'm looking for real science, and science that invalidates the original hypothesis is still real science. Now, for the second way you can win. I'll be setting up a series of creation science challenge videos where I'll be looking for creationists that make scientific claims that can be tested, and I will design experiments for them. I'll explain the details of what they need to do in the experiment in order to show their ideas supports their claim. If any of the people I challenge respond and perform the experiment I lay out for them, they automatically get entered into a drawing to win the $50 Amazon gift card.
now for how atheists can help. Uh, if you could search for creationists that are making testable scientific claims, PM me with a link to their video or even their web page. They don't have to even be on YouTube. Even better, if you have an idea for an experiment that would support or refute their claim, explain it to me in the PM you send me the link in. I'd like to invite as many creationists as, as possible to participate. Uh, you could also help if you want to offer prizes for the winners. It would be quite nice if we could sweeten the pot to get creationists to learn that science isn't just sitting behind their computer reading answers in Genesis. Prizes that can be sent by email are preferable so we don't scare anyone off thinking we're just trying to get their personal details. Fact is, if this is successful in getting creationists to actually do scientific experiments, I'd like to make it an annual event where we can pool our resources and offer better and better prizes each year. Although I'm skeptical that this will get much response, I'm excited to see what will come out of this. Let the science begin.